Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. This is the POCO C50. Let's go ahead and unbox it, shall we? Inside the box, you get the POCO C50 in this royal blue color and along with that, you get a 10 watt charger, some paperwork and that's about it. Nothing else. Yeah, you also get a SIM card ejector tool, but no case inside the box. Anyway, let me quickly go ahead and use this smartphone for a couple of days and then I'll get back to you guys. Welcome back. This is the POCO C50. I've been using it for a couple of days and today in this video, I'm going to give you my first impressions about this smartphone. Now, the thing is that POCO is doing a great job in the budget segment. Like under 10,000 rupees, POCO has some good options in terms of smartphones and this one is their latest entry which starts way below 10,000. Like it is under 6,500 which is like the entry level for a smartphone in 2023. So this is an entry level smartphone like in the first slab of buying a smartphone. So obviously this smartphone is not going to be for the tech enthusiast out there. If you already have a good smartphone, then this one is not for you. This smartphone is for people who are buying their first ever smartphone or for people who want a secondary smartphone. There is one more very interesting use case for the POCO C50 and that's for people who are addicted to their smartphone. Like if you are addicted to your smartphone and if you want to cut down, then use this smartphone for a month. I can guarantee you that your addiction will go away. <laughs> but you might ask, why is that? That's because of the specifications and the performance as well. Don't get me wrong, for the price of this smartphone, the specifications and performance are great. It comes with the MediaTek Helio A82 processor along with that you get 2 or 3 GB of LPDDR4X RAM that's good to see that it has LPDDR4X RAM and you get 32 GB eMMC storage not UFS eMMC and that's not good it should have been UFS because UFS storage is way faster and does make a difference in terms of performance on the software side of things this smartphone comes with Android 12 Go edition and it is on the September security patch it at least should have been on the November security patch so if someone from POCO is watching this please push out an update for security but anyway, it is Android 12 Go edition. Android Go is a lighter version of Android which is for such smartphones. Smartphones which do not have the best specifications and Android Go is a really good experience because it is stock Android. So you don't get full-fledged MIUI on this smartphone, you get stock Android which is Go edition. Now a pro tip over here, if you end up buying this smartphone or if you suggest someone to buy this smartphone, then tell them to install light version of all apps like Spotify Lite, Facebook Lite and all these light applications. They make a difference because they work better on Android Go. But anyway, how is the performance? Well, performance for the price of this smartphone is good. You can easily use day-to-day -day applications, things like checking WhatsApp messages, watching YouTube videos, replying to emails, or just browsing the internet. But with that being said, it is noticeably slower. So if you're using a smartphone which costs above 15,000 rupees, then you are going to notice a difference in terms of performance. Everything is a little bit slow. Like when you open an application, it takes time. When you click a photo, it takes time. When you download some application and put it for install, it takes time. So everything is noticeably slower, but that is expected at this price. I'm gonna say for the price of this smartphone, the performance is good. Now, what about the camera? So on the rear side, you get an eight megapixel camera, then one useless camera, and on the front side, to get a 5 megapixel camera. The daylight photos are surprisingly good for the price of this smartphone. It comes with a built in HDR mode and the HDR is working really well. It's not turned on by default, you'll have to turn it on and once you turn on HDR, the photos are really good in daylighting conditions. In low lighting conditions, the photos are not so good but again, expected at this price. Now here are some samples from the selfie camera as well. You guys let me know what do you feel about the selfies in the comment section down below. Personally, I like the selfies. They are good, detailed and sharp. Now let me quickly give you a video sample as well. Alright, this is a very quick video sample from the POCO C50's front camera. You guys let me know about the video quality as well as the microphone quality in the comments down below. Like let me know how is it. That looks fairly good, so you can easily make video calls with this phone as well. Now, as far as the battery goes, POCO C50 comes with a 5000mAh battery and you get a 10 watt charger inside the box. So that 10 watt charger is going to take forever to charge this 5000mAh battery. You don't get fast charging at all. So expect this smartphone to be charged in like one and a half to two hours. That time is going to be there. Apart from that, POCO C50 comes with a fingerprint sensor. Yes, a fingerprint sensor on the back of a smartphone and it works really well. It's fast. It's 
accurate and the placement is good as well. So there is biometric authentication via the fingerprint sensor. Now, one thing that I did not like about this smartphone is the micro USB port. Yes, it has a micro USB port for charging and not USB type C. I feel that it should have been USB type C because even the budget TWS and neckband earphones come with a USB type C port. So if the accessories are USB type C, the smartphone should definitely be USB type C. But one great thing is that it comes with a headphone jack. Yes, you do get the 3.5mm headphone jack. So if you want to use wired audio, you can do that. If we talk about the display, the Poco C50 comes with a 6.5 inches 720p display. Yep, it's a 720p display. It's okay, not the best out there, but for the price, I think that the display is okay. I'm not complaining about the display because of the price of this smartphone. If the price were a little bit higher, like 8,000 rupees, then I would complain about the display. But for this price, the display is good. You can easily use it to watch Instagram Reels, YouTube videos, or even Netflix for that matter. All in all, Poco C50 is a great entry-level smartphone. Now, I am doing a giveaway of this smartphone on Instagram. That giveaway will go live in the evening. Like this YouTube video will go live in the afternoon. But on Instagram, I'm doing a giveaway in the evening. That's why make sure you follow me on Instagram. The handle is at Technolobe. Go ahead, follow me over there. Watch the reel of the giveaway so that you can have a chance to win this smartphone and potentially gift it to someone or use it as your secondary smartphone. Also, if you want to buy it, I will make sure to drop a link to it in the description box below. So anyway, this was the Poco C50. Do let me know what do you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Ash Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.